Okay, we've got Ashley, the Ashley Williams, Wales captain. Um, <coughs> in about ten minutes here. Okay, Rob, do you want to go first again? Yeah, Ash. Uh, afternoon. Hi. Um, Ryan has said he's resigned to not having Gareth with with Wales tomorrow. How much of a blow is that? Do you feel? Yeah, obviously it's a blow. You know, he's he's our best player, and we always want him on the pitch as much as we can. Um, he's here in the in the group, which is which is good. You know, for him to be around. Um, you know, we'll miss him. Obviously, that's that goes without saying. But it just gives a chance for somebody else to come in and, and do a job like normally. What happens with Wales? I'm not saying you can replace Gareth, but um, whoever steps in normally, you know, does a shift for the team. Is it more important that he's available for Ireland? Do you think with points at stake? Uh, well, I, yeah, I understand what you, you're saying. We just want him available for as many games as possible, and you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, he is. If he's not, we'll we'll have to go out there, and, and it's something that we have to deal with. I mean, you know he does get injured, all footballers do, but, you know, it's his uh, high-profile injuries. How does he cope with that? Fine, he seems fine. I'm sure he gets frustrated like like everyone does, you know, when you can't go and do the thing that you love to do most. But he's been fine this week. He's been, you know, part of it. He's been laughing and joking. And, um, you know, I've been speaking to him and he, he seems OK. You know, I think, it, as you say, you know, he's suffered quite a lot of injuries, so he's used to dealing with it, as frustrating as it is. Um, and he knows his body. And he'll know if he, you know, when he can play and when he can train and what he can and can't do. So he'll still have a big part to play tomorrow, even though he won't be yeah. on the pitch. Yeah, definitely. As a, as I say, he's in, he's in and around. He's been in every meeting. You know, he's on the pitch, doing his work, and um, he'll be in the dressing room tomorrow. Um, you know, and he'll, he'll be trying to help the boys as much as he can. How excited are you about being back here and facing this Spain team? Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's a good game. Um, Obviously, I've played here before. A few of the lads have, some haven't. Um, unbelievable stadium, playing against one of the best teams in the world. Um, that's, that's why you play football for, for nights like that. It's going to be difficult, obviously, but it's a good good test and a good challenge. Um, and it's, you know, if, if you're playing friendlies international, this this is the type of night that you want. And do you feel your form is better now? Joe Allen told us this week you were back to your best. Do you feel more confident going into this? Yeah, and no, I feel good. Um, it's been, obviously, it's been a long year and stuff, but now playing in the team and you know at club level and um, and winning games and you know internationally, the, my last game was Ireland, which is you know one of my you know best memories will will be one of my best memories when I retire at some point. And um, yeah, I'm happy. You know, I feel I feel good and you know looking forward to playing football. Because it's fair to say there's plenty of young guns at centre half these days, isn't there? Yeah, there were, uh, the, throughout the whole team, we've got a lot of competition now and. Um, I think it's good, you know, this is the strongest squad that I've seen since I've been playing for Wales. Um, and it, it does give us, the older ones, a little bit more of a push. Um, you know, you have to be playing well for your club team. You have to be, you know, playing every game. Um, and when you come here, you have to you have to do well, which is what it should be like. And um, as I say, I think every position, you know, we've now got at least one or two players that are ready to go straight into the to the starting eleven. When you say the strongest squad since you've been playing for Wales, do you mean that strength in depth as much as anything? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. So if I look at the last camp that we was on, I was thinking probably every, there's probably two 11s that could go out and, and be as strong as each other. So we've never really had that. Even when we was going through the Euros and stuff, you could probably guess the starting 11 every game, really, apart from one or two. So um, just when I talk about strength in depth, this is probably the strongest that I've seen. And um, last one for me. People will have to step up without Gath in particular tomorrow. These youngsters, are they ready for this sort of challenge? Well, we'll see. We don't know until until they get out there and they're, they're involved. But you know, from what we've seen already when they play for Wales, or you know what I see in training with them, they they seem to be you know a good set of lads, um, good heads on their shoulders. You know, down to earth and you know trying to do the right things, always listening and and just just raw ability and talent wise. You know, unbelievable set of players and. Um, you know, it's good. It's good for us now because we've got a lot of good old, older players and we've got all the young players. So, um, you know, we're just trying to fuse that together and, and you know, see what happens. All the best. Cheers, Rob. Um, Lawrence, have you got a question? Mm -hmm. Thanks. i wait for the mic. <laughs> um, Ash, when they walked out there, the youngsters, I imagine a lot of them, it was the first time they'd seen the stadium. What was the sort of uh, reaction to it? Uh, I, I walked out last, so I don't know. Did but, you? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you always last, actually. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm, it's impressive, isn't it, when you go out there? So I'm sure they was impressed, and um, the the 
the roof was open and then it closed. So it, that does change it a little bit. You know, there's a different feel inside there. So we trained with it closed and um, I hear it will be closed for the game. So um, it was something different, um, especially for a lot of the guys, as I say. A few of us have played with the, with the here with the roof closed before, I think, but probably most haven't. So, um, you know, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to it. Everyone wants to play some part of the game and, and be out there in that stadium. Good. Obviously, it's been kind of slightly controversial coming back here, but what were your memories of it as a player? Um, <laughs> not, uh, not full, that, that, if I'm being honest. That was the, uh, that's my memory. But no, I played a few games here. And um, as I said before, as a, as a professional, you want to play in the best stadiums in the world. And, and this is definitely one of them. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure it'll, it'll feel different to the last few times that I've played here. Um, I'm sure we're expecting more fans um, with the relationship between the fans and, and the team these, these days. You know, we, we know they'll turn up and make a lot of noise and um, you know, we want to try and put on, put on a bit of a show and do our part in the game. Uh, obviously, Joe Roden's been brought into the squad. How's he settled in and uh, has he impressed in training? Yeah, he's good. Very good player. I know him myself um, from Swansea when he, was, when he was a little bit younger and um, he settled in fine. He's a really nice kid. Um, we made him sing again just because we wanted to and um he was he was up for that so he's um he's a nice kid to be fair what did he sing he sang um oh, i can't remember something it was rubbish anyway <laughs> um satish and then gary um you normally play at the um Cardiff City Stadium, which was almost always going to be full. This one, it may not be. Is that going to have any impact, do you think, on the uh, match and the atmosphere? Uh, I'd hope not. I think we'll get more fans here, but as you say, it won't be full. Um, we'll have to see how the game goes. It's going to be a di different atmosphere. And as you say, we're used to now playing at the Cardiff City Stadium. That feels like home. And I know we are, we've always been keen to try and play the, the competitive matches there. Um, but you know we're all up for a friendly here and something something a little bit different, a change. Um, you know, I'm sure that the Wales fans will come out in big numbers and make a lot of noise. Um, you know, and we'll see how the game goes today, tomorrow. So. Spain had set the uh, benchmark uh, in recent times for international football. How do you see? the Spain team that you're going to be playing tomorrow as compared to, let's say, the great Spain team that um, won the Euros in the World Cup? Um, well, it looks a little bit different. Um, I think they're probably in a bit of a transition themselves. You know, obviously a lot of the players have, have moved on now and retired um, and they've got some, some younger ones in. Uh, but they're obviously still a very good team. Um, it's going to be a difficult challenge for us. And we've seen the last couple of games against England and Croatia and they're obviously a very good team with talented players they, they, I think they still play the same kind of style as they always have um, so yeah it's, it's something that you know we've been working on all week and um, we'll try and you know in, you know implement our game into into the game we're trying to deal with them and trying to you know put our our side of things on the, on the pitch as well so um, we're expecting a tough game you know one that can be you know, it's just one that's not to get frustrated when you haven't got the ball. You know, we like to play with the ball. If you look at our last game against Ireland at home, we had a lot of possession. They will have a lot of possession as well. So it's an interesting challenge. What do you hope to get out the match against Spain to take into the game against the Republic of Ireland where points are an issue? Um, whenever you can get on the, the field for an international and, and get players more caps and more experience against such a good team, you, you'll take it. And um, I think it'll just be a, a chance for every for all of us to play again together. Um, you know, and I think that's priceless when you if you're trying to get players' experience. Um, you know, different players maybe playing together and, and and whatnot. We'll we'll find out the team tomorrow, but. Um, when, as I say, whenever you can play an international game against such good quality, um, you're going to take that opportunity. We'll take a last question from Gary. Uh, Ash, what's it, what difference does it make when the roof is closed as opposed to open? Um, I'm not. It's difficult to answer, but it does make a difference. I think that we just saw that because, as I say, when we went in, it was open, and then when it's closed, it closed. Um, it's, it was quite warm down there, to be honest. So. Um, the atmosphere just changes a little bit in there. Um, 
I'm like, I'll tell you after the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does feel a little bit different. But it's interesting. It's something. It's something different, and it's something that um, we probably a lot of us haven't haven't faced before, especially the younger boys. You know, playing with a closed roof. Um, so it's just a different. It's just a different test, and something for us to to enjoy really as well. You know, playing against Spain out here with the roof closed. It's it's something to try and enjoy, um, and just you know, see what happens really. Yeah, no, fine. I um, spoke to the gaffer about it, and you know, he said why he wanted he, he wanted to change the team. I was okay with it, and then you know, he wanted me to go and be in the dressing room, and similar to our, what Gaz is doing now, you know, just to help out any way that he can. So, um, yeah, fine, fine. The gaffer obviously picks the team and the squads and stuff, and you know, we go with what he says. Okay, thanks. <laughs>